Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Ben here with High Def Detailing again. And I wanted to do a quick video today to show you guys how to clean up your rubber floor mats. So we've all seen mats that look like this. These WeatherTech ones can get gross pretty quick in the winter, but we're gonna make them look like this. So I'll go through the process with you real quick here. As with a lot of detailing steps, you always wanna start off with a nice thorough rinse. So I'm using my pressure washer here with the green tip. Normally I use the white tip when I'm working on the exterior of the vehicle, but the green tip here is a little bit more focused, so you get a little bit more pressure. Uh, you do have to be careful though with some rubber mats. If you get too close to the surface, you can damage them. Now on these WeatherTech mats here, they're, they're usually pretty durable, so you can get pretty close, but just you know, use your judgment as you're doing that to give the mats a good rinse. As you can see, that will knock most of the dirt off. And now we're going on to the cleaning step here. And this is where a lot of times you get those faded issues because you use a cleaner that is high on the pH scale. So like an all-purpose cleaner or a degreaser even. I found if you use a cleaner like the one I'm using here, which is the G-Technic W5, it's a pH neutral citrus cleaner. You're not gonna really get any fading from this process. So I've sprayed it all over the mats and I'm scrubbing down the mat with a stiff bristle brush. It's actually my same tire brush I use. And you can see that the foam is pretty white. It's not dirty. So a lot of the dirt did come off with that initial, initial rinse. So this is just getting the remaining parts. As you can see, looks nice and clean. And this is an extra step. Sometimes I'll blow off a lot of the water using an air dryer. Um, you don't have to do this because you'll see in the next step, we're actually going to get the mat wet again. Um, but if you were just going to leave the mats like this, you could end the process right there. All right, so we've got the mat inside now and we're going to dress it up a little bit, but you have to be very careful with this step because you don't want to make your mats slick. So don't use a tire dressing or a solvent based dressing. Use something that's water based. So I'm using the Aerospace 303 here. Just a few mists on the mat, wiping it in with the microfiber and really knocking it down. Cause like I said, you don't want the mats to be slick and that will darken it back up for you. Just be careful once again with this step. Don't use a lot of dressing. Don't use something that's slick. Um, just be very smart and use common sense there. And we've got ourselves, oh, missed one spot. <laughs> we've got ourselves a clean mat now. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. Thanks.